The San Francisco earthquake of 1906 and the fires following it destroyed 80% of the city and caused an estimated $8.2 billion in damages. But on the bright side, if it wasn't for the 1906 earthquake, we wouldn't have Los Angeles. Ugh. Thanks, disaster? <laughs> Okay, so the 1906 earthquake didn't found Los Angeles. It didn't even wait in line at the State House to register Los Angeles as an incorporated municipality. Lazy, lazy, lazy. But it did play a large role in making Los Angeles the enormous city that it is today. Prior to the earthquake, LA was a quarter the size of San Francisco and only had a little over 100,000 people. They had some industry, like oil, which was discovered there in 1896, and a railroad, but LA was largely farmland and orange groves pretty unrecognizable from the steaming pile of city we have there today. The true heart of the western United States was San Francisco. At the time of the earthquake, the city by the bay was the ninth largest in the U.S. and by far the largest on the west coast. It was known as the Gateway to the Pacific and was the access point through which the U.S. military and economy accessed the western world. Then, on April 18, 1906, at 5.12 a.m., the San Andreas Fault ruptured, sending a 7.9 magnitude earthquake through San Francisco and the landscape of American culture changed forever. More than 220,000 residents found themselves without a home and countless merchants were put out of business. San Francisco rebuilt as quick as they could, but not quick enough for the global economy, which still needed Western access to the United States. No time to sleep on them greens, son. So, trade was diverted down south of Los Angeles with its ocean access and railway. This led to further development in industry and shockingly fast population growth. By 1930, the population of Los Angeles had surpassed one million people, and by 1960, Los Angeles grew to be the second largest city in the United States, only surpassed in population and general dirtiness by New York. Just kidding, LA is way dirtier than New York, so thanks, disaster! Sorry about all the casual LA hating. We're based here in San Francisco and some rivalries will never die. Please subscribe and let me know in the comments why you think San Francisco is a better city than LA. Here's a hint, there are no wrong answers, people. Also, it's a terrible town. It's full of dirty, dirty people. They're like, hey, what do you do for a living? I'm like, I, I host a TV show. And they're like, really? I've never seen it before. And I go, it's on the internet. And this is what they do.